today I want to talk about not uh, text to image, but uh, AI video. And the reason I want to talk about it is because right as we come to a close of 2024, we've had this kind of landmark moment for AI video, which is that a big brand, Coca-Cola, aired their first fully AI generated ad on television. So throughout 2024, we had a lot of improvements in the AI video space. There was a lot of new tools entered the market, and there was a lot of improvement in the quality of the output. But I think that 2025 is where we're going to see it now start to be used in much more practical terms. So bearing that in mind, what I wanted to do is have a look at five things that we can learn from the Coca-Cola ad as we look at how we might implement AI video in our marketing mix. So. Number one is we don't need to wait for the tools to be perfect. So the, the Coca-Cola mm. ad is actually full of minor little AI glitches and telltale signs. So I think the question isn't, can these tools replicate what a filmmaking crew could do? I think the question is, are the tools ready to convey your message? Number two, consistent characters are still really difficult for AI. A lot of companies are trying to crack that, whether it's through processes or new tools. Um, actually, Runway, one of the big uh, video tools, have just released a feature that is designed to help with this. But the reality is we're not fully there yet. Now, what Coke did is they had characters in their ad, but they didn't show up in more than one scene. So therefore, you're not comparing Santa Claus in scene two and scene four and thinking, oh, he looks completely different. So I think the takeaway is the tools have limitations, but there are creative workarounds to the limitations. And that's what we should be looking at right now. Speaking of limitations, I think this is my answer number three. Speaking of limitations, <laughs> the tools are also not great at uh, text or logos. Don't be fooled by the fact that the Coke ad has the logo plastered everywhere because every instance of that logo was either added or edited in post-production. So unless you have those skills in-house, I would say certainly when using the, the AI tools, just stay away from text and logos for the time being. Number four, fast edits are your friend. So the tools can generate 10 to 15 seconds of video. And if OpenAI ever release Sora <laughs> to uh. the public, <laughs> then we will be able to generate even longer clips. But just because you can generate long clips doesn't mean that you should use them in your edit. So Coca-Cola had a, a version of the ad that was 1 minute and 20 seconds long. There was 34 scenes in that ad. And 94% of them were 3 seconds or less. So. Generate your 10 to 15 seconds, but find the best moments, edit something together with two to three second clips, and keep that narrative moving along really, really quickly. Number five, not just keep the scenes short, but keep the whole thing short. So even though Coca-Cola had a one minute, 20 second version of the ad, that is not what went out on television. Um, the one that aired on TV was 15 seconds. You can, you can say an awful lot visually in 15 seconds. So that's what I would be recommending to small businesses is brainstorm, you know, what can we say in like five to 15 seconds and just create these bite-sized little projects to explore the tools. So the last thing I wanted to say just before I wrap up is to acknowledge something that I think is important, which is this is definitely a landmark moment for AI video, this ad going out on TV. Yeah. And even though it tested really well with a large test audience of the general public, there was massive backlash to it online. So we need to be aware of that as well. But I would say a couple of things about that. One is that I think that will change as AI video usage becomes more widespread. And secondly, you know, I deal a lot with small businesses. And I think there's a huge difference with small businesses and someone like Coke. So Coke is this behemoth of a brand. They're doing this for the first time. And there's a perception, at least, that they're replacing creative, uh, traditional creative teams with AI. For small business, it's not about replacing anybody. It's really about what can you do now that you just simply could not do before the advent of these tools. And that's why I would basically recommend that everyone at least explore whether AI video has a place in their marketing mix in 2025 and just take these little bite-sized pilot projects, 5 to 15 seconds, experiment with the tools, and explore you know, what's possible for your business.